with weather turning to fall, our excitement for the upcoming season is coming to an all-time high. But we must trudge ahead on the new private property with more prep work not only for bow season, but for rifle season as well. Now I'm gonna go run the stand. I picked out a tree back here. I'm gonna go put the stand in it. It may not be a bow hunting spot, but it's definitely a spot I just want. Ready to go if I wanna hop out there if we see anything on the on the cell cam out here. So let's take this out there and see how close we can get to that tree. So I don't have to walk very far. We can just get it up in the tree, huh? Alright, so we got our first tree picked out. Real nice big oak tree. And uh, there's a few of them right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can see, so they, they're definitely dropping acorns in here, which means deer are gonna be feeding all over in here. Shooting lanes are tough. There's not much to shoot through on this side. However, boom, look at that. We got a nice little clearing right in the middle of the woods behind me here. It's already got a real thick trail right through it. And uh, they should be bedding, I don't know if you can see it. There's some pine trees back in there. There should be some beds in there. Deer should be coming through here. I'm gonna get a camera up on this clearing here and uh, see if anything walks by. Um, God, get away from me. I gotta run back and get a pliers quick for the brace bar here. So I'll be right back. All right, stand one is complete for the year. That's our first stand that's ready to go. If opening morning comes and it's really cold, I can come out here and sit here and hope for the best. But I gotta get a camera right out here somewhere looking at over this clearing. But it's getting late, time to get back and figure something out see what see what to do is next see what there is to do next better see you guys in a second i think we're about eight feet off the ground on the platform but we're up a little bit on the higher ground here too so that helps a lot we got a clearing back over in there we can see really well we got a lot of the thickest thick part of the whole property is right here in front of us a real good trail about 20 yards this way this trail over here whoop, goes straight to the food plot and then we got a swamp back in here, and there's gonna be bedding on the back side of that for sure. And we got all this area. So for this year, we're just gonna put a regular old pop-up blind on this for rifle season. A little heater in here, some carpet or something, to keep the air from coming up through the cracks. Maybe you'll sit out here all day. It's gonna be key with this property. All day sits, those midday movements. The midday We also finished should... putting our enclosure on the tripod stand. With deer all around us, unfortunately, we see no antlers. But with deer moving, it keeps us excited for what's to come. We're just gonna use a cell phone. I left the camera at the truck, but uh, hey, look at that. Got the blind up. Now, bring my bow with next time. Draw back in here, see, see what it's like. Get some camera equipment in here, moving around. And, uh, but I'm running out of daylight here. The rain's gonna be coming in in a second. I'd be safe in this. <laughs> I am excited to have a spot that I can go on bad weather days and and still sit with without worrying about it too much. But anyway. And uh, just like that, the day we had felt was so far away, with all the prep work that we had been doing, it's finally here. 2019 bow season officially kicks off September 14th. The night before, Marilyn and I take to the shed <coughs> to get our last few shots. It's opening day. It is 5.57. It's already starting to get bright out. We got a full moon and really cold temps. So we'll see if the deer are moving or if we're gonna spook them when we walk in. But my expectations are low for today. Yeah. It's our dry run. It's early in the season, but it's hunting. So let's just get out in the stand. <laughs>
With an extremely productive morning hunt, Marilyn heads home to nurse a cold. With how much movement we saw this morning, there was no chance that I didn't get myself in a tree stand right on opening year. But I'm hoping they're supposed to be tracking north and miss. I'm gonna be hunting right about in this though. So I'm gonna have to give it a little while. That's no good. That's no bueno. Look at all that red. Alright. Alright. Let's set this down on the ground. I need this. But it happened just as I thought. As soon as that rain stopped, those deer were going to get out of their beds and head out to food. And I just happened to catch that doe because she was bedded right back in here. I caught her going out to food. On the bright side, I wasn't even hunting for deer coming from this way. I'm hunting for them coming from that way. The wind's coming a little straight east here. Blowing my scent all over back here. I'm hoping for these two trails for deer to come up. So, that's the plan. This is the spot. Make some magic happen. Came right down one of the two trails I expected them to come from, though. There we go. I had no idea I was here, and she just went downwind to me, so I think we're all good. Safe, and I do not recommend being in a tree stand if you can see lightning. As the storm continues to roll past, it misses me on all sides. No bucks show their faces, and that draws an end to the opening day of the 2019 bow season. So much to look forward to and so much excitement going into the season as we start to get trail camera pictures of bigger bucks. That will all come on the next episode of The Debrief.